Hi everybody, welcome to a Jalen Hurts game review from the Eagles game against the Colts. Trying out a little bit of a different video format this time. It's going to be a longer form video. I've got 17 plays of Hurts that I'm going to cut up instead of doing shorter videos. So you guys let me know what you think if you prefer one format over the other. Uh, but let's get into it. As early in the game, the Eagles are going to send a man in motion. Uh, this motion is going to reveal man coverage. We're going to see uh, this defender is going to follow him across the formation. That tells us that it's probably going to be man coverage. Uh, off of this, we're just going to run two vertical routes to kind of clear out. And A.J. Brown from the reduced split, notice this is the man that's going to have him in man coverage. He's going to be uh, way outside leveraged, and so Hertz is going to just hit A.J. Brown on this crossing route. Uh, it's going to be a nice throw. It's going to be on time, in rhythm, and it's going to pick up a big first down. So we see the motion here. The, the man follows. Uh, play action pass, turning our back to the defense, set our feet. It's a clean pocket, and now we've got A.J. Brown breaking across into what's going to be a wide open throwing window. Hertz puts it on the money for some yards after catch. Yards after catch, your best friend in this offense. Again, we can see turns the back. Uh, finds A.J. Brown, layers the ball right over the linebacker. That's a nice catch uh, by A.J. Brown. It's a beautiful throw by Jalen Hurts. Now the next one. Uh, we've got a motion. We're going to motion into a four-by-one set. So we've got uh, just one wide receiver on this side. That's going to be Devontae Smith. Uh, he's going to run a whip route. And so he's going to act like he's going to break in. You call it a zig route, a whip route. I, I call it a whip route, whichever one you want to call it. But notice at the snap of the ball, uh, Hertz is, this is always the primary read is Devontae Smith, but notice when he takes the snap, he's going to open up. Look where he's looking. He's opening up to the four-man side. Uh, he wants to make sure this safety is not coming down uh, to help out. He wants everything committed to the four-man side, and then he comes back. Just look at that route by Brown. Snaps off that, or excuse me, by Smith. Snaps off that route. Uh, easy catch for a first down. Let's go to the next one. This is going to be a second and 20. Now this is cover one man. We've got one safety playing deep. Everybody else is in man coverage. We're going to run a play fake and Isaac Sayamalo is going to pull to help sell this fake. Uh, the running back is going to go off of a play action and release into the flat. Uh, our tight end is going to run an out route. And then we've got a, a slot crosser. So our slot's going to come across here. And, and then on the back side, we've got the motion is going to go into a wheel and we've sort of got a boundary curl and so watch the way that Hertz is going to work this uh, gets the fake hits the top of his drop he's got to step up into the pocket and then he's going to hit that crosser uh, for the first down this is a really nice throw again you'll watch here Isaac Sayamalo pulling from the guard position to help sell this he's going to seal off the edge and now Hertz at the top of his drop he knows where he wants to go this is the route that he's looking at it hasn't uncovered yet he knows it will and so he's got to step up into the pocket. This is a good job of evading pressure. He steps up, keeps his squ shoulders square to the line of scrimmage, and he throws a dot to Devontae Smith on that crosser. That's just a really nice play there uh, by Jalen Hurts. Now let's look at this one. We've got a third and 11, and we're going to run a fake screen. So we're just going to step back here. We're going to fake that screen pass, and we're sort of running wheel routes. We're running verticals. We saw this uh, against the Steelers for a touchdown to A.J. Brown. That's what we're looking for again. We want A.J. Brown on this route. Uh, at the top of the screen, this wide receiver is going to run an out route. I, I hate that route by the receiver. We'll come back to that in a second. And so let's just watch what happens. The Colts have seen this before. They start to bite. They don't bite. This isn't open. Now, the reason I hate this out route from the receiver, you can never come back to that. You can't come to a backside out route. You have to be throwing that at the break. So I would much rather this be some sort of in-breaking route. Let's have a contingency plan if our wheel routes don't work. Let, let's give that backside dig route that has a chance to get open. Maybe Hertz can come back to that. This is a third and 11 on the fringe of field goal range. A and instead, there's nothing there. So there's nothing for Hertz to bounce to when this play doesn't work. And then you'll notice, uh, honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if there was because Hertz drifts in the pocket uh, and he ends up taking a sack. Now, he drifted in the pocket when he did this play against the Steelers too, and I pointed that out in an all two, all 22 video you can go find on this channel, but notice where Hertz starts. He's right here on the hash, and he's going to have to sell this screen, so he's going to take a step this way, and then instead of getting back to center line, he's just going to continue to drift this direction, and there's really no reason for him to be doing that, and so watch. Here's the fake. Now, 
instead of continuing to drift that way, let's either drop straight back from here. This is as far over as we should get, right? This is as far over, or let's plant our foot and get back to create some space here in the pocket. But he continues to drift. Look where he ends up. This is where we started. We end up way over here in the middle of the field, and you sort of drift into pressure here. So it's a bad design with not having a, an in-breaker on the back side of that route, but at the same time, it wouldn't really matter because Hertz footwork is off there. Uh, he sort of drifts into that pressure. So that turns into a six-yard sack. It turns what would have been a 52-yard field goal into a punt. So that's, that's a bad, bad missed opportunity there from the offense. Now this is going to be a second and seven. Uh, this is an RPO, and we've got dual slant routes here from the wide receivers. Now I would argue we get some pullers coming here. I would argue that Hertz should give this. Um, we can watch here. Look, look at, look at how this shakes out. We've got two guys pulling, right? We seal off, we wall off the edge with the double tight ends. We've got two pullers. We're going to tag these guys in space. We get Hertz out or we get Sanders out on the boundary. I would prefer him to give that ball, but he doesn't give it. Um, and he doesn't throw this first slant he's going to actually hit this second slant behind it so he does a good job once he doesn't give it recognizing this linebackers underneath and hitting the second throw on the slant so I'm going to pick up yardage give us a third and manageable so uh, I would rather you give it there like I said but I thought he did a good job of making the right throw once he didn't give it now this is going to be a third and eight uh, the Eagles go into condensed sets they've got two receivers condensed up here we've got a bunch condensed down here the Colts were running a lot of man coverage this gives you the opportunity for a lot of natural picks some rub off some you know some rub plays that sort of thing and so we're going to get um, a corner and a flat route it sort of works as a natural pick in this situation uh, at the bottom of the screen we've got a, a drag a drag route and then a post route and sort of like a little wheel route and so you're going to see, let's watch at the top of the screen first. This isn't where Hertz throws it, but you can see how this, this space is created right here. You could throw this ball. You could pick up some yardage. Uh, maybe get the first down, maybe not, depending on your yards after the catch. But that's not the primary read. The primary read is down here at the bottom where the same thing is going to happen. This vertical release is going to drive both of these guys off. It creates room underneath for this drag route, which is what Hertz throws. Hits the top of his drop. Boom, the drag is there. And then a good, good job of knowing where the marker is and getting to it by Quez Watkins to pick up the first down. Now let's look at this one. This is a third and goal. Now this is a play where I think Hertz makes a mistake. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, we have a, a corner route from Zach Paschal getting into the back area of the end zone. Uh, we've got a drag route. And then from A.J. Brown, this is another route I think you should throw. It's kind of an angled post. It comes out and it comes back in. Now this is going to be man coverage and just watch we hit the top of our drop right here. We're not under we're not we're not really under pressure yet. We could step up into this pocket. There's room here to step up. We're starting to lose the edge, so we do have to step up. Hertz decides not only to step up but to to bail out the side here, but this route is coming over the middle. I think you could throw that. There's nobody here. You at least give A.J. Brown on third and goal. You give him a chance to go make a contested catch uh, against a, a corner that's on his back pocket. And you can see out of that break, now it's open. There's no reason for us to have to run here. Hertz could have stepped up. And if you didn't know before you could throw it, you know for sure now you could throw this route. Or I think you could also throw this corner route. You've got all this space in the back of the end zone that Zach Pascal's running to. That's a throw I think you should also take. So take your pick. Uh, I think you could make either of those throws. Instead, he's going to decide to flush and run. And remember, this is third and goal. It's not first and goal. If you don't get in the end zone here, you're kicking a field goal, which is what the Eagles are forced to settle for. So watching from the backside right here, as he's tucking out the back to run again, which I don't think he needs to do, there's some space there. You could hit A.J. Brown right here. There's a, that's a lot of space in the red zone. That's a pretty big window. So uh, just a missed opportunity there, I thought, by Hertz to put the ball in the end zone, uh, a play he definitely probably wishes that he could have back. Now let's take a look at just some really nice completions that show the chemistry between Hertz and Devonta Smith and just the great route runner that he is. We're going to get three plays in the same drive where we're just going to hit these comeback routes uh, to, to Devonte Smith and so that's all we're watching is up here at the top of the screen in man coverage watch the timing watch the route 
Hertz drops back here, hits the top of his drop. Look, he's loading up to throw right now. Is Devonta Smith open? No, he's not, but he knows Devonta Smith's about to put his foot in the ground and come back and separate. These are the types of anticipation throws that we just didn't see from Hertz last year, and it's such a good sign to be seeing those this year. Here it is from the front view. You can just see the one hitch and the ball's out. On target, picks up the first down. Now we're going to see the same thing again here. Uh, this is just a play or two later. It's the same thing up here at the top. It's going to be to Devonta Smith, so just watch at the top of your screen. Hitches. He's waiting just a second because this is a second and 20, so the route's going to be a little bit deeper. That's why you see that shuffle. We're running this a little deeper. He shuffles once. Ball's coming out. It's a little late maybe, but it's such a good route by Devonta Smith. And again, gaining back some of the yardage that they had lost. Let's get it one more time up here at the top of the screen. Again, this is Devonta Smith. They're just going to continue to come to this look as long as the Colts show cover one man. Ball's out at the marker, just short of the marker to pick up another gain. Now, let's talk about this play. This is a third and eight on the fringe of field goal range, and I hate this call. They're going to call a screen pass. A.J. Brown comes in motion. He's going to sort of run this drag route. Now, A.J. Brown's open, and people pointed that out on Twitter, but this is a screen all the way, and you're not looking at that if you're hurt. So you can't read this play out. A screen's predetermined, and so he draws back to pass, throws out this little screen. It's read out. It's dropped for a two-yard loss. That that loses two yards on third and eight on the fringe of field goal range, and then they come out and they go for it on fourth and ten. And again, this is just a – we're going to spend a little bit of time on this play because I think it's a bad call to go for it here, for one. If you're going to go for it, don't run a screen on third down. I think the design's bad. I think the receivers do a bad job. I think the protection is bad. And so uh, here's what we're going to see. We're going to see A.J. Brown on this drag route. Uh, and then we're going to have in routes from these receivers, and we're going to have sort of a drag here. This is a pick route. We're trying to pick off this defender to get A.J. Brown open. Now, let's look at the defense. This is man coverage. Uh, this linebacker is going to blitz. Now, we don't know for sure he's blitzing, but he's showing blitz. But he's the only one that really can blitz because we've got a safety over here that can come down and replace on the running back. But if we look at the other side, this this linebacker, he can't really blitz unless it's a cover zero blitz. And are you really going to cover zero blitz on fourth and 10 and have a safety giving 15 yards of cushion to a receiver on the line? So it doesn't make sense that he would be blitzing. This is our likely blitz threat. And so in my opinion, what the Eagles protection should do is we should be sliding right. Uh, Jason Kelsey and Isaac Sayamalo should team up these guys first in, first out and then we block here. And if we're going to keep the running back in to block, the running back should be responsible for this guy in the event that he comes. It's unlikely, but if he comes, you take him. If not, you just look for work. That's not what the Eagles choose to do. And so let's roll this here. They, they leave the linebacker for Kenny Gainwell to pick up, and they double-team the defensive tackle. I don't like this call. I would rather have Isaac Sayamalo on this guy. He blows up Kenny Gainwell. He affects the play. Now, if you're Jalen Hurts, this is fourth and ten. Your pick is coming right here. You just need to put this ball up here. Let let A.J. Brown have a chance to make a play. But instead, uh, Hurts doesn't do that. He tries to scramble out the back. And now we're in scramble drill. What are we doing standing here? We've got a receiver standing. A receiver standing. Like It's scramble drill. It's fourth down. Get get downfield. Get in your quarterback's vision. So I don't feel like the receivers do a very good job of activating a scramble drill here. Hertz rolls out. He ends up taking a sack, which you can't take a sack on fourth down ever. Uh, I don't care who you throw it to. Just, just throw the ball right here. See if somebody can make a play. But he takes the sack. Now, again, this protection just doesn't make sense to me. To me, 44 should be the mic. It's, it's, we've got five offensive linemen. Uh, I think it's more likely 58 is coming than 44, so I would rather account for him with an offensive lineman. We can slide out here. The route's going to the right. It's okay if Kelsey has to push out here. It gives us some room for Hertz to maneuver, but that's not what happens. Instead, they make Kenny Gainwell responsible for 58, and he just gets blown up. Now, if you're Hertz right now, you see this got blown up. Our route's coming this way. The pick's coming. I would like to see you just shuffle a step and get this ball out, give A.J. Brown a chance. But instead, there's just nowhere to go. 
and he's going to get flushed out. He, he tries to flip his hips and get the ball out, and he just can't do it, and they take a sack. This, this is a bad play. It's bad design. It's just bad execution by the offense. So hated that sequence of the third and eight screen followed by the fourth and ten. Now, let's get into this play. And Before, before I even talk about this play, let's just watch Hurts here. He, he drops back to pass. He gets the little loop around, right? Like, this is not how you teach pocket management. He looks skittish in the pocket. And that's what I thought when I watched this live. But if you just look downfield, who's open? Hits the top of his drop. We're covered. We're covered. Everyone is covered. There's nobody open against this coverage. He pumps. He's looking. He's trying to find somebody open, and nobody is. And so now he decides to run. He gets the spin around. And he's going to end up turning this into 20 yards on a dead play. Like, this is not how you teach pocket management, and yet Jalen Hurts is able to make something out of nothing, and that's why mobile quarterbacks are so important to an offense's success. Uh, We'll watch it again from the back view here and just watch. Nobody's open. It's a great pocket. Nobody's open. The pump, nothing's there. We spin around. We end up running for 20-plus yards, making a guy miss in the open field, uh, spinning out of a tackle, and then goes down without taking a big hit. Now let's look at this one. This is a second and 10. Uh, This is going to be, let's get it to the right screen here. This is going to be cover one man. And so uh, our our weak side linebacker here, he is going to be the defender in the middle of the field. This safety is the deep safety. Then we're playing man coverage across the board uh, beyond that. And so uh, we're going to get a shallow in. So we get a shallow in and then a deep out uh, from the bottom. And then at the top side, we're going to get a cross So we get this deep over route, this crossing route, and we get the in. And so watch what happens. We're just going to watch this route right here develop over the middle of the field, cross the face of the safety, and get into the end zone. This is going to be Quez Watkins. So watch. He's going to win. Hurts gets a clean pocket. He steps up. He unloads that ball. It's on target for a touchdown to Quez Watkins. It was the Eagles' first touchdown of the game. You can see from the back, beautiful pocket. Uh, just a good job puts that ball on target into the end zone for Quez Watkins just a really good route really good really good touchdown now this is the final drive Uh, this is a first and 10 now this is going to be an RPO uh, that Hertz should give and he doesn't we've seen this before we're going to have this is Zach Paschal scraping across the formation he's going to release into the flat the idea is we're reading this defender Uh, if he dives at the running back we're going to pull it and then we're going to option option this defender out here uh, if we run it or we throw it into the flat and if this uh, defensive end if he stands up if he contains then we give it to Miles Sanders and so just watch the defensive end and tell me if you think this should be a give read or, or a keep he, he stands up he never attacks and yet Hertz is going to pull this out if you hand this ball off like you should look at what we have we have a blocker here we've got everybody blocked up we've got a receiver coming out to block. You've got Miles Sanders coming around the edge with blocking in front of him, but Hertz keeps it. He gets out on the edge. There's nothing there. He is able to use his athleticism and escape and throw the ball away. So it's not a negative play, but what, what about this? What about this look indicates that he is attacking the running back and we should pull this ball. Like to me, this is a clear give. You can get all the way to the edge you can break it up the middle. You could follow Dickerson up the middle. There's so many options if you put the ball in Miles Sanders' hands, but Jalen Hurts doesn't. And I thought he was off on his give, his give and pull uh, landmarks in this game. Now let's look at this one. This is a third and two. Uh, they motion into a four by one set, and Hurts' first look is to AJ Brown at the top of the screen. He's going to run this little curl route, and it's not going to get open. Uh, the receivers, the receiver is gonna. We're gonna get some post curls here. It's not gonna be get open. We're gonna have routes breaking. None of it is open, and Miles Sanders is gonna uncover on this wheel route deep. And so, if you watch this play roll out, let's just look. He immediately opens to the left. AJ Brown's not open. He bounces over here. Not open. Not open. Not open. Now, who is wide open for the first down? Here's the first down line. Miles Sanders is wide open. Now, he is the fifth read in this progression. So, Hertz isn't there yet, but as he gets there, he goes through his reads. He's coming to this guy. Still, you could throw this ball upfield to Miles Sanders. Let him run under it. It takes time to get to your fifth read. You don't expect that very often, but watch. What are we doing here if we're Jalen Hurts? 
This is the pocket. He's coming through his reads. Nothing is open. He has a perfect pocket. You couldn't ask for better protection than this. And what does he start to do? He starts to get happy feet right here. There's no reason for this. There's no pressure whatsoever. Miles Sanders is behind the defense for a touchdown. If you just keep your feet planted and you get through your reads, but he doesn't do it. Now he comes to it late and he's throwing it. And this could still be a touchdown. He comes to it late. There's some pressure coming off the backside, but he can step into this throw. He can make this throw. This is, you know, we need to put the ball way down here, but this is a doable throw. 55, 60 yard throw in the air. And he dramatically underthrows this ball. And I don't know what the linebacker's thinking with the penalty there. Uh, but again, watch. At the point, he starts to get happy feet right here. This is where I want him to get to Miles Sanders in this progression. He has a perfect pocket. And he starts to get antsy. And that little getting antsy right there, that costs them the opportunity to win this game easier on a pass that he should have made to Miles Sanders. So it's not Madden. Uh, you can't see all the receivers at the same time. Miles Sanders is certainly the last guy in the progression, and I get that. But I would love to see Hertz get to that, especially when there's not pressure in his face uh, and he had time to stay in the pocket. So things that he can work on there, things that he can grow. Uh, and then this is the game-winning touchdown. You don't get an easier game-winning touchdown than this. Uh, this linebacker is going to wall off Jack Stoll uh, up the seam, so we're worried about a seam ball here. Jason Kelsey at the snap is going to pull to the right. Now, they've done this before in the game, pulling to the left, and Hertz followed him. Bobby Okereke, the linebacker here, is going to see the pulling. He's going to get out wide, and you'll just see a huge hole open up the middle. So this, there's the pull, and just look at this. You don't get an easier touchdown, an easier game-winning touchdown than this. Uh, and they set this up earlier in the game. I loved this play call. He's going to skip into the end zone for the win. So uh, Jalen Hurts went 18-25 in this game. He throws for 190 yards and one touchdown. Uh, he had a very high time to throw. The only time it's been over three seconds this season. His average has been 2.79 I thought he did a good job pushing the ball downfield. I thought he looked a little skittish in the pocket at times, but on all 22, I felt like for the most part, it was receivers not uncovering uh, more so than anything. So all in all, I thought it was a good job by Jalen Hurts. A good game, uh, didn't make the big mistakes, made a few big plays, uh, and definitely a building block for him moving forward. So a uh, solid game from Jalen Hurts in a victory over the Colts.